hello everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in i am so excited to Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. And today I'm gonna talk about Royal and giving you an update on everything going on. I know on the last video I was gonna do his six months update but I really didn't get into everything. I, I mostly talked about postpartum. Um, so I wanted to do a whole separate video about how he is doing and how amazing he is doing, how proud I am and how grateful I am to be his mommy. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and tune in to this video. All right guys, so I just wanna get right into it. I love being a mommy. Yes, it comes with so many ups and downs, emotions, crazy things happen. Of course you have to heal and you're definitely transitioning from you know, being your single self to now having a mini you following you around and going everywhere you go. Um, so that in itself is a lot, but not only that, it is watching, you know, the fruits of your labor, all that hard work, all that patience, all that faith, um, and you know, you just being determined to do this and get this done and being strong and, you know, just being an amazing woman. Now you've pushed out this beautiful human being and you get to see them grow and develop and start to see their little personalities um, come out. So that in itself is just, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Already sleep in the car ride. Loves the sun. About to be four weeks this Friday. Gonna be almost a month. Knocked out. So Royal is one month old and one day. We about to ride out, going out to celebrate. We just going out, enjoy the sun, going for a ride. We are so proud of you, son. You are doing such a great job. Developing well, so alert. We love you, Royal. Look at that sun hitting your face. You like that. Yeah. <laughs> you are being such a big boy. Look at him. Look at you sitting in the crib. I cannot Aww. believe it. Yes, my king. Yes. You see that, Dad? Hey, Dad. Hey. Hey, Dad. Getting so big. Uh, yay, look at you holding on to your toy. You're such a big boy. Kick those legs. Kicking those legs. Yeah, good job. Good job. What you gonna do, huh? Yeah, what you gonna do? Yeah. I got you, I got you, I got you. I'll take a yoke. What you looking at? Hmm? Yeah. I got you. I got you. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. She said just one, Royal. Just one time. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, he did it. <laughs> Good job, son. <laughs> March 
15. The whale's moving his legs, kicking them, moving around, learning so fast. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Roll over. Ah, baby. <laughs> you stuck. <laughs> you stuck on your side. Yay. Good job. Yeah. You're like, ah, oh, stop it. <laughs> Good job. Red square, the red square, look, can you get the red square? Good job, good job, you got it, look at you, good job Royals, good job. You like your new toy? See, cause he grabbed that. Yeah, that good job. Chewing on car. Mm hmm. You still thinking about which side you want to look at? That's the other side, man. What about the other side? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All I'm doing is lifting it for him. And he just go from there. <laughs> Come on. Work those legs. Come on. That's right. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Good. Keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah. Good job. Come on. Work those legs. Come on. That's right. Good job. Yeah. Are you trying to eat it? Hello. Royal actually just turned seven months, um, July 25th. I do want to do an update on just his development and how things um, have been going. So um, now that Royal is seven months, he can definitely sit up really on his own. Um, sometimes he wobbles from side to side still, but he definitely is a lot more sturdy. Um, when he was about five and a half months, around that time, he could actually just sit up, you know, but he wasn't able to kind of stabilize himself as much. But now I can definitely see the difference that he's a lot more sturdy. Um, and he, he doesn't like topple over as much as he used to when he was around five months. And you know, now even in four months, while he was like three to four months, he hated doing tummy time. He hated being on the ground. He just did not like doing tummy time. But now that he's seven months, he is crawling, he's scooting around, he's using his arms to move his body. I mean, it is amazing to watch him be so mobile. And it's also a little scary 
scary because you cannot leave him on the bed and just think, oh, he's okay. When he was around four months, you know, I didn't have to worry about him turning around or, you know, doing too much. But now he literally is rolling around. He's busy. He's climbing everywhere. He's crawling out, trying to crawl out of the crib. He, he always has an arm or a leg out of the crib trying to get out, I guess. I don't even know. But he is so just inquisitive. He wants to touch everything. If I'm typing on my laptop, then he's trying to type on my laptop. If I'm swiping on my cell phone, he can get his finger and literally swipe on my cell phone. It is very strange, but he is developing so well. And as you know, right, right now he's trying to take off. He wants to do his own thing. So let me... Get his little toy so maybe he can be preoccupied. Um, so yeah, he's able to grasp things. Even with his, his toys, um, when he was about five months, he could twist things, grab everything. I mean, it is amazing to watch him develop. Just, it's, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, around six months as well, he started to walk in his walker. Um, you know, he could walk backwards, but now he can definitely take off in his walker. He is running in the walker. He's able to walk forwards, backwards. He's kind of trying to touch things and get into things when he's in his walker. Um, so it, I'm, it's just, I don't know, it's just so crazy just to see him and how fast he is learning. Um, I definitely would suggest getting a walker, um, if you have a four month old baby that's when we started to put him in the walker it really helped him just you know feel a little bit more independent and just have his own little space our walker had little toys on top of it and everything and i'll show you guys of course a video of it um so yeah he's able to do so much even right now with this little toy he knows that he can push this up and down and it'll open he'll push these parts down he, he knows how to move this back and forth to pop it open so I honestly I don't even get toys for the age limit that it says if you feel like your child is able to do it why not get this I'm pretty sure this is probably like a nine month plus um, but I don't care. I feel like he is he's, he's developing so well. Why hold him back? Why not get a toy that he likes? He likes to he likes to um, you know smack stuff because this, he has this little bumper toy, his little bumper car that he just smacks on his walker. So I thought this would be so fitting and so cute for him. And I got this from Target. I love Target. Um, so so yes, guys. Not only that, I started to give him um, you know more purees when he was about four months um so he's tried carrots he's tried avocado he's tried pears he loves pears um and bananas but all in all breast milk I'm still feeding him. I'm still um, breastfeeding him as well as pumping. And I'm glad that I am. I think it is amazing just to see him develop. And I definitely feel like breast milk has a lot to do with him being just so healthy. His skin being just amazing. Like, we just get compliments everywhere we go about how he looks. I'm just so blessed to have such a beautiful baby. Um, so, so, yeah. Um... Probably looking at me like he gonna be busy. Go, Ryan. He ain't worried about nothing but the butt. <laughs> 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 this is how we get it. Right. My baby is an all-star. We gonna around the road with the road. Exactly. With the sun and the, and the butt. He done did stuff already that's like right. above his age like bracket. That. Yeah. Huh? You like running around? You like running around? Nah, this show ain't me dead. That's why I said they probably gonna be looking like they finna be easy in a minute. Yay! <laughs> that was fun.
Come on. Come on. Yeah. Uh, you can do it. Come on. You can do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get it. Good job. <laughs> oh, lazy butt. Trying to you cheat. You did that too. Right. Too easy. Too easy. Do that again. Look at him. Right. <laughs> yeah, you got to do it again. You trying not to do it. Now, he is teething, of course, still. He does not have any teeth yet. So, um, you know, sometimes we may give him a smoothie or something like that. But we really don't give him any, like, stuff that's going to be heavy on his stomach. Um, also, with him transitioning by eating puree, we found that sometimes the baby can, you know, he gets constipated. So, we did talk to our pediatrician and um, she did prescribe him some medicine that definitely has been working, which is natural and normal. Um, she said that when they are, you know, going to solid food from just having just solely milk, they're going to have some digestive issues. They may have constipation or they may have diarrhea. Um, so, but with him, it was constipation, which was an easy fix um and it's a liquid that we have um i would get it but i just really don't feel like getting up uh, i'll just insert a picture in the video um so it's a liquid that we give him and it's just a teaspoon of it um and we give that you know i honestly don't give it to him every single day you can give it to the baby every day but i like to see how things are going and regulated um so if he has not had a bowel movement in you know a, two days then i'm going to go ahead and give him the constipation medicine to make sure that he's able to break down everything and it clears out and that definitely has helped us so much um Literally right now he's like crawling and doing whatever he wants to do um so you may find that as they're developing and eating more solid foods purees and everything that um you may run into some constipation but yeah i'm trying to think what else what else oh i'm i'm noticing like when he was a baby he would cry when he was tired or when he needed a diaper change or when he was hungry but now he actually cries in response to things like if i take something away he might start cranking up and crying like um well he's not doing it right now but when i when he was trying to type on my laptop and i was trying to work i pushed my laptop back and he started to cry so it's showing that you know he's crying in response to things he's understanding that if i do this then i will get this uh result manipulation um but no but he definitely is learning he's definitely learning and i love it i just love his little personality um i remember i was chewing gum and i was just this was the first time i chewed gum in front of him and i was just next thing you know i saw him like so him seeing that now, when he sees people start to eat, he's like, and it's so cool to see, you know, everything that he picks up on. He start, he likes to touch things. He likes to touch my hair. He grabs my hair all the time. He pulls my glasses off. I mean, literally he gets into everything. So we definitely are baby proofing the house, making sure that he can't get into anything and we're not leaving him anywhere where he can just, you know, roll over somewhere because once they get to six and seven months, like you have to be on it. They're not just a little baby anymore. Um, you know, not only that, he's definitely, we are making use of this crib. Sometimes I put him into, you know, in the crib and he'll just chill and hang out. Um, I might put some of his toys in the crib. Not, you know, he may not, you know, be sleeping or anything, but this is just, it's good, it's good. But this is just a great area. If I need to fold clothes or do something really quick in the room, I'll just put him in his crib and he'll just chill. Versus when he was smaller, that definitely was not going to happen. Um, he was a lot more dependent upon me. Now he's able to just, you know, play with his toys. I can see that he's definitely a lot more independent. I just love to see him and how well he is developing from crawling to walking in his walker to, you know, laughing. He laughs literally at everything it's so easy to make him laugh and just to hear his little laugh is the cutest um so and so yeah 
Say yeah. Come on. Are you going to say hey, Royal? And he's so much more vocal. Like, he talks so much. He yells. He screams. Yeah. He talks. I love it. He's definitely been a lot more vocal, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take this out. He knows how to grab his own pacifier. Like, he can grab his own pacifier. Look. He'll just put it right back in his mouth. Or he might. Look. And he's been doing this for a while. He's been doing that since he's been like four months. Um, and, you know, right when he came out of the womb, he wanted to stand up. So I feel like he's definitely just going to be walking soon. I feel like he's going to walk by my birthday, September 29th. I feel like when he's nine months, he's going to be walking. But yes, say hi, Royal. Take this out for me. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? Can you say, he's like, Mom, why did you do that? Can you say hello? Royal. 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 He likes to blow bubbles. the blow bubbles get your finger at your mouth he is teething so they always want something in their mouth and they literally put everything in their mouth so make sure you keep your hands clean continue to wash your phone and just keeping his clan hands clean even you know a lot of people like to just say oh he's so cute and they touch the baby's hands keep wipes on you wherever you go because it's like oh my gosh he's gonna put his hands in his mouth so yes yeah, getting so big I'm so proud of him I cannot believe it guys he's probably like at least 20 pounds by now honestly um, we don't go back to the doctor until he is nine months which will be in September and as you can see even right now he's looking around he's very observant he's looking at the light yeah <laughs> I love you. I love you. Yeah, I love you. I love you. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> All right, guys, that was a quick update about Baby Royal. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, love ya. Bye. <laughs>